Poly You're ready for how weird? Polykeelid. Oh wow, that's very odd. Slipper lobster? Is that what the common name is? I think that's the common name. Slipper lobster. I'm writing weird lobster in the highlights too. <laughs> it's very flat. Yeah. Not, not a squat lobster. Definitely A not. weird lobster. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's in the family Polychelidae. For some reason, blind lobsters. Okay. The way away. it has its legs tucked in reminds me of like how bats have their wings tucked in. I don't know. It just okay. Looks and the mastus, you have to wait for another time. Compact. Sorry, buddy. On the move. Oh, sea cucumber. <laughs> wow. Somebody said bridge nav the mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. That's the winner. Uh, <laughs> So that's a sea cucumber, right? Not a sea pig? Sea cucumber, yeah. Okay. Not technically a sea pig. Sea pigs are usually from the family Elpidiidae. And this one I, is not that. I think it's a Cynoactid or some some relative. That was really cool to see it swimming like that. I've actually never seen that before. It's a big coral. Okay. I think that coral is taller than pretty much everyone here. <laughs> it's as tall as Herc. Taller than me for sure. Yeah, Herc <laughs> is taller than me. I think it's a bamboo. Herc is taller than everyone on board. Look, there is another colleague here. <laughs> I think it's a very bad spot, but. Yeah, it's a little too high, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. It's too tall. Too tall. The main complaint about this coral is that it's too tall. That's gorgeous, so. Can cool. you zoom in on that Atlanta again? Hydroid on it, too. Yeah, her can fit underneath this coral. Wow. Wow. Were we saying we thought it was a bamboo? Yeah. All right, all right. A pink nogon, it has a sea spider. It did? Yes. Ooh. Oh, there it goes. Ooh. Ugh. It's amazing how thick the main branches on that coral were. Thick juice branches. <laughs> the size of my wrist. Yeah, that was a big one. Wow. I gotta go up and over instead of around because the tether would get caught on it. Does that go all the way through? That goes to the all other the way side? through, oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, cool. that's wow. awesome. When you oh, you yeah. come wide on Atalanta, you might be able to see it. Coming wide Look. on Atalanta? Look at it's that. real dark. It's real dark. <laughs> More light. I'm not okay. going to wedge myself, but I will get closer. Uh, you can see it, can I mean, see it glowing the look, way through. You look a little wedgy. Oh, it's very wedgy, but can you see the light on the far side of the tunnel? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there it goes. <laughs> that is a tunnel. That's funny. Wait, wait, wait. Let me turn my lights off. Yeah, great idea. Oh, I'm getting this as a highlight. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so cool. And there's corals living inside there, too. They don't care. As long as there's <laughs> water flowing through, it's fine. Shrimp. And a shrimp. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Secret tunnel. I mean, you just see how Secret thick these lava tunnel. flows no, are. Look at that. Have to go now. Now. Look how massive these things are. Secret, it's like two meters Secret high. Tunnel. Yeah, look at you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm behind, and this is... Uh, Okay, I'm turning my lights back on. That was awesome, but I need to see. Yeah, and I need to not get stuck. So. <laughs> I saw a rock above you when we were doing that, and that made me very nervous. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> um, talking about the coral in the tunnel, someone once said in the chat a while ago when we found that first like hole that the marine snow and stuff can like like flows through the small spaces easy, and it's easier for them to like catch food and stuff. It probably focuses the flow pretty good. There you go. It's going vertical. There's oh, there's, there's two. There's Goodbye. friends. Are they the same hey, species? Fish, fish friends. Yeah, there's one down below, too. Three. Oh, yeah. Oh. This is the hangout. Is it? Is it a cutthroat? Is it a halosaur? Or is it a halosaur? Is it a halosaur? It looks like a halosaur. It's got the halosaur. Oh, my God. Look. It's got yeah, the lizard yeah, fish head. Yeah, it looks so majestic in cinema cam. Oh, and there goes the oh. turtle star. <laughs> <laughs> Come back, friend. Oh, hit the rock. Okay, come wide, please. Wow. wow. What an amazing dive. Oh, wow, look at its eye. Ratfish. There's a stuff on its face, yeah. Oh, that's a good call. 
like that lateral line. It looks like That's a big fish. Yeah. <laughs> do you think that fish and the Dumbo would not get along, or do you think they don't care about each other? I hope they don't care about each other. And they could just live peacefully apart in the darkness. We got another little fishy uh, oh, just yeah. above it <laughs> in the just cinema it. cam. Cinema cam's great shot of these fish. Yeah, there's another one just above it, so. Let's see if I can find that one just above it. Probably not, and probably have to go, but yeah. let's take a look. It's, it's definitely a the small wrong way. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, he's going the wrong way. Okay. Cool. Move along. That rat tail did not care. <laughs> not that no. bad to finish the watch, huh? Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, very cool. Yeah. I don't know if it's Dumbo octopus cool, but whatever. It's mm. pretty cool. It's definitely Ooh. not three Dumbo octopuses cool. The, who saw, the last watch saw three Dumbo Chimera. octopus Chimera. too, Chimera. and a chimera. What? Right. Yeah, I'll take coral. Whatever. Actually, I think the first watch, not the first Could watch. Could we zoom here? Is that possible? Um. Yeah, that looks like Sibuga Gorgia maybe, or? The white corals, I feel like I always throw out my hands. I have no idea. This looks like the one that we saw at the very peak of the last summit, next to the shiny rock. Oh, and there are beautiful basket stars on uh, that primnoid. Oh. I know you're trying, Michael. That's OK. <laughs> that's good. Wow. We, we, we got close enough to make guesses. Those are the Gorgonocephalids, which is, again, a reference to the Gorgon sisters. Fighting the current too. <laughs> landing, yeah. coming in for a landing. <laughs> oh, aren't they usually like red? I guess there's a lot of species of them though. Chat says juvenile chonicops are gray. Interesting. Was that a baby? That would be so sweet. He's having a tough time. That's having a tough time, isn't it? And to answer your question about the bio box, I don't know about pressure, but I do know that the bio boxes are chilled. All right, come on, please. Um, to help oh. with the temperature difference. The starboard bio box is chilled. Oh, those oh, cool. little leggies. Coming in. Oh. Uh, it's stalked. a stalked uh, yeah. crinoid, and they are echinoderms. Um, with a, they are very incredible organisms to study in terms of fossils because they fossilize really well. And usually in limestones, you're yeah. going to find loads of um, crinoid fossils. Crinoid yeah, we see fossils. them all the time. We yeah. do a lot of creek walking and find crinoid fossils. Wow, all the, time. the view of the Triclops camera is just beautiful. This is the sea lily, correct? This is what they saw the other day. We have a tentative ID as Proas acrinus rubarimus. I'm sure the I red is that. just incredible. Look at that color. Great. The that nice is very vibrant red. It's more orange in the triclops. I like the, yeah, I, I think I like it, I like it in, the, in the clops better. We had an interesting conversation about stocked and swimming crinoids earlier today. Does anybody know which came first, or did they both come at the same time? Or why do some swim and why are some stocked? I think first they were stocked, and after with the evolution oh, so depends of the yeah, environment, like they become uh, like a sunburst. Even because to be Sunburst able to orange. move and, and swim in, in the yeah, I want to pluck it water so that just like but I think as far as I can remember they stopped carnoid um, just kissed it with the, the was right right first yeah awesome why why build your own stock when you can borrow other awesome. stocks for free <laughs> 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 yeah, that seems like way less energy so everything's in a new order it seems like <laughs> and, then I and, and the more we know you be more uh, tennis sky here. Do these work similar to a Venus flytrap? Do they catch things inside of them? Okay. They're actually called the Venus flytrap sea anemone. Oh, according to Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> these are my favorite now. Be cool to see them open That's up. That's awesome. A large one. sea anemone that resembles a Venus flytrap <laughs> poses <laughs> its tentacles and, and they don't to protect know. itself. That's awesome. Looks like Zoantis has kind of, I don't know if the sediment that it's. Um, it does look that way, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, which is similar. The other one we collected, the same, like, you see the, the, the small bits. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah, let's keep going, guys. Thanks. Someone on the chat says it looks like the Lorax tree. <laughs> so that's that underside. We've been talking about how they can kind of... Oh, yeah. 
Move their stomachs out of there. Contract? Yeah, that's the one you were saying can it's extend really their stomach out, right? I think Leela was telling us about that. Sea stars can oh, do that. Okay. I have an inkling that these kids will. <laughs> the great escape. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> this actually reminds me of that uh, <laughs> Jurassic Park scene <laughs> where they're climbing out of the tree. Yeah, it's, where's the car coming out? Right. <laughs> You weren't in the last one. There's a, uh, this reminds me of me uh, falling down the stairs. <laughs> on the dome here when we took a, a big swell. <laughs> Just like, oh, there's ah. a shrimp. <laughs> do, <you laughs> do you fall down the stairs often? <laughs> yeah. uh, yes, I'm a clumsy fellow. I fall, I've fallen upstairs. <laughs> Bounce upstairs? That's I impressive. <laughs> yeah. I've fallen upstairs. I never do it on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> I see you're limping today. Yes, I fell upstairs. <laughs> yeah, laugh until it happens to you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually well, laughing because it did happen to me walking around <laughs> <laughs> on the ship. I can sympathize. Like, I can relate it to this. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, yeah, I think it happened to me about an hour ago. Oh, Every what? day. Yeah. That's, That's another shrimp, I believe. Is it shrimp? Once upon a time ah, in Hollywood. Another me. Bridge stars. It just, just looks like a floral arrangement to me. So pretty. There's a lot going on in here. And we know from collecting it's it that it's actually quite one. delicate. Yeah. There's another crinoid at the top. Oh, that might be a different coral, huh? No, Satan. Helping to identify that mushroom coral. Steve's back. got it. Anthemastus. It's a good size mushroom coral. Well, yeah. It's, where's this? This yeah. would be, wow, at least yeah. 30 centimeters. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty big. So are mushroom corals octocorals? They are. Yeah. Let's count. Well, I would, I doubt that's what I was doing. Three, I just four, wanted to five, confirm. Six, seven, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are, but you can count as a fraternity. <laughs> <laughs> I counted them. I was like, all right, I'm going to try. We like count these 10. Whoops. <laughs> oh. Originally, and, uh, Steve was giving information that's broadly distributed. Um, Man, I really but uh, like originally can, was described in French Polynesia. Looks like a tree on a special coral island there. Yeah, I think we got good zooms here and some good captures. Yep. You guys can move along. Ooh, there's an eel in the, <laughs> in the wow. bubble. Oh. Oh, oh don't that is close. very oh, big. Oh, you just swim backwards? Yeah. Yes. yeah. So that dot there, have we seen that dot on other eel-like fish? I don't know. Or on other fish of this Up here. type? I wonder if that's a um, marker. Hey, buddy. This one? Probably was a uh, parasite. Oh, really? Or something like that, I'd Some guess. Some fish have very distinctive spots in very distinctive places. I wonder if this wonder so just give this one. Nice. It would be interesting if you could ID with the, you know, like they have a specific oh, marks. Oh, oh. And nice, I got a good photo of that. 